Justin Wesley breathes loud and looks funny when he's working out. He uses a mask that simulates tougher conditions at high altitude. You're sucking for air and it's just not coming in because it's, it's holding back the air. High elevation training masks are becoming more popular. Many professional athletes are using them during training to try to get an edge on the field. Manufacturers say the masks limit oxygen, strengthening lung capacity and building the diaphragm. And you're going to take less breaths per minute, but you're going to take breaths that count for more. You can control the intensity of the workout or the elevation by swapping out these white discs. This one with four holes simulates 3,000 feet. It lets in more oxygen than this one with one hole that simulates 9,000 feet. High elevation researcher Dr. Benjamin Levine says altitude training may have advantages for athletes who sprint a lot. But for most people, he says the mask likely does not provide health benefits. You're only spending a few minutes at altitude and that's not enough to induce any real major productive changes. Wesley says he sees a big difference after using the training mask for the past 18 months. He says he's stronger and faster. I've shaved a, a minute off of my, my run time, basically. The former U.S. soldier has also lost 80 pounds. Chris Van Cleve, CBS News, New York.